and we're gonna go through each phase of the shot step by step and give you 100% clarity over exactly what you need to improve. And then I'm gonna give you a roadmap of drills, progressions, and ways of gaining feedback to make sure that you're implementing these improvements correctly so you can grow and transform at the fastest possible rate. So let's jump right in to the toss and the windup. The number one element that I wanna see you improve with your toss and windup. And just for clarity, the toss slash windup begins right when you start tossing and it ends right as you drive your legs and accelerate. Now there's some key elements with your windup that you can significantly improve to dramatically increase your power in the later phases of the shot. So we'll go ahead and use a side angle predominantly to break this down so you can see exactly how to improve. The primary thing that you can improve is at the end of your windup, in other words, when you accelerate, you'll see a few key differences. Number one, you'll notice a difference in the level with which your trunk is laterally tilted. As you can see, when you start accelerating from the leg drive, your trunk is almost leaning forward into the court. And essentially what that's doing is it's reducing the amount of power that you can get from the upward force. Whereas by laterally tilting your trunk back, this creates more runway for you to generate that upward and rotational force creating that pro drop to maximize your power going up and forward into the serve. So the first key element that we're going to transform is you're going to transform the amount with which you laterally tilt your trunk when you start your acceleration. So the step-by-step -step drills to follow with that is you can film yourself from a side angle just like that and focus on as you toss just go ahead and uh, freeze and make sure that, okay, my trunk is in that laterally tilted position of approximately 20 degrees. Here would be zero, here would be that 20 degree perfect rotation. So after you get comfortable with that, you can start feeling yourself consistently get into that checkpoint. Then you're gonna start hitting full serves, making sure every time checking yourself to make sure that you're getting this lateral tilt. Because the number one way for you to transform is to be constantly getting that feedback making sure that you're making those improvements perfectly along each phase of the shot. And once you master the lateral tilt, then the rotation, all the other things, it compounds together and you're able to start hitting serves that feel super effortless and you're able to just reach up and pop it. That's the first element we're gonna master is that lateral tilt. The second element that you're gonna master with your serve is the degree with which you're rotating your trunk. So if we look at it from a back angle, you'll see that when you finish your windup, your trunk is slightly less rotated than Federer's. And if you start rotating your trunk slightly more, this is gonna give you more power and rotational force from that core musculature going up into contact. So those are the two primary elements that you can improve with your trunk on the windup that's gonna transform the amount of power that you're generating. And just like we talked about with the lateral tilt, as you serve, start off not hitting, just feeling the trunk in that position and eventually progressing, going step by step, making sure you're implementing it. Once you have found yourself mastering that, then we're gonna move on to mastering that perfect hitting arm structure. So one key differentiator from the really high level pro serve and the average serve is where the arm is when the leg drive happens. So to give you full clarity over this, let's look at Djokovic, Federer, and Nadal, the three most successful players of all time. Watch exactly where their racket is when they drive their legs. You'll see that the racket is gonna be oriented above the arm like that and slightly internally rotated at 20 degrees. Now the reason why this specific uh, location of the racket allows you to get so much massive pop on the serve and is what allowed me personally, that one tip alone allowed me to totally transform. I know it's gonna be a value to you. So if we put these top players over here and we look at your serve, notice after they've driven their legs and they rotate and they drive up, look at how deep of a racket drop, AKA pro drop that they're creating as opposed to the one that you're creating. Your racket is staying on the left side of your elbow, whereas theirs are all gonna rotate to the outside, the right side of their elbow. And what this does is this allows you to shoot up and around to generate massive pop effortlessly going into contact, just like that. And the way that you can achieve this 
is by mastering the timing of the leg drive with exactly where the racket is positioned at contact. So we've covered a lot of stuff so far. Let's piece it all together for you. So again, you're going to master step by step that lateral tilt. You're going to master that trunk rotation. And the last piece that you're going to master is where your racket is positioned. And this can seem overwhelming, but just go step by step. Just go one at a time, mastering each piece. Once you piece everything together, boom, breakthrough. It's going to feel amazing. So here's the exact step by step process that you can follow to make sure that you're doing the hitting arm structure perfectly correct. So as you know, when you set up, your racket now is coming a little bit too low. The key checkpoint that you're going to want to achieve is three things. Number one, that the shoulders to the elbow form a straight line, which you're already doing exceptionally well. The arm is at a 90 degree angle, but then the last checkpoint is where the racket is relative to the elbow. You want to make sure that the arm is internally rotated, which means it's on uh, the front side, like where your chest is, it's on this side of your body. And also that the wrist is going to be uh, oriented to your right, to your right. So pinky towards the back fence. This is going to create the racket at a higher point. So the reason why all the pros create this position is because now when you time your leg drive, the weight of the racket is positioned above the hand at a high point, which now as you drive your legs, you have the increased lateral tilt. You have now the increased rotation. All of this, wouldn't it make sense now that with all of that, with the tip here, that you would create more downward racket head speed, which would then give you a deeper pro drop position? Absolutely, and that's the goal. And essentially what all this is doing is it's creating a stretch and shorten cycle in the muscles associated with acceleration. Basically the stretch and shorten cycle gives you turbocharged power. It's unbelievable. And you can take this even a step further and you'll see uh, really high level servers like uh, uh, Opelka and what they'll do is they'll actually drive their leg with the racket all the way down here, getting even more downward racket head speed uh, into that pro drop position. Now we can experiment with that as you move forward and want to take this to the next step. But for right now, mastering these key elements is truly going to transform your serve. So here's the exact step-by-step -step process for you to master that perfect hitting arm structure position. So what you're going to focus on doing is number one, just making sure that you can find it correctly. So just like I talked about with the checkpoints before, what you want to do to assess this position correctly, you're going to want to record yourself from a back angle, from a rear angle, because this is going to allow you to see where is that tip relative to my elbow. As you can see right now, you're all the way down here. You want to be here. So here's exactly how you're going to make sure you're doing it correctly. What you're going to do is you're going to start with your arm already set in that position. You're also going to make sure that the trunk is laterally tilted and the trunk is also rotated. From that position, what you're going to do is you're going to bend and you're going to drive your legs. You're going to get set, you're going to bend, you're going to drive your legs. Now why are we doing this? Why are we just driving the legs? Now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to rewire your muscle memory synchronization in time. Meaning, you're going to get so much more power by just changing and shifting your timing of the leg drive as it relates to these dimensions of your hitting arm structure and your prep. So basically, what we want to get your body to start doing is thinking to drive the legs before you initiate the downward racket head speed. So again, what you're going to do is you're going to set up, you're going to do your full wind up. You can go without tossing and just making sure, okay, I'm in the correct position. Great. And then leg drive. And then what you can do is you can do a toss. You can do like the full serve, but then stop and then leg drive and just make sure. Okay. The first thing that happens is my legs are going to drive. Once you start feeling yourself consistently implementing that in the second progression, what I want you to do is I want you to grab two rackets. So I'm going to grab a racket right now. What you're going to do is with these two rackets, you're going to hold it just like this. Now, the reason why we're using two rackets is having increased weight. So what we're going to do is now what I want you to really focus on. You can hold the ball. You can do it without a ball, whatever you want. You're going to go ahead and load up, finish your wind up, drive the legs and then do a full swing. So load up, drive the legs, full swing. 
and the key here is as you're doing this drill, I recommend that you take this video on the court with you and follow along right now because I'm going to pretend like you're right here next to me. All right, so as we're doing this drill, we're getting the tip of the racket to be timed with the leg drive above, just like that. The key is that once the tip goes to here, as we drive the legs, we want to feel the leg drive, the rotation, the lateral trunk tilt. This is all going to create more of that racket head speed going down which creates the stretch, which then gives us that upward force. So we're feeling the new configurations that we've achieved with the trunk to create more effortless racket head speed. So that's the drill to massively increase your pro drop position. And lastly, piecing it all together, you're just gonna go ahead and fluidly now hit serves, feeling that new trunk position, feeling that lateral tilt. Oh, oh, oh it feels amazing. So focus on timing that leg drive, Ah, feels amazing. All right, so I hope you absolutely start to feel amazing progress with that. Lastly, we're not done. Let's close with the perfect contact. So I'm gonna assume you've gone through the drills. I'm gonna assume you've mastered these key elements we've talked about. The last element that you're gonna wanna master is gonna be the contact. So as you're gonna focus on loading up, getting the wind up position, the leg drive, one thing you'll notice is that contact, your racket is directly above your hand versus Federer's is going to be to the left. Also, from a side angle, you'll see that Federer's trunk is significantly oriented inside the court versus yours is more upright. This is also evinced by your follow through where when Federer finishes his serve, he's going to land with that right leg back versus yours is only going to go back a little bit and then you're going to take a step inside the court. So fixing those three elements is going to be the icing on the cake that's going to really take your serve to the highest level and feel very effortless and fluid. Here's exactly why. Essentially, number one, we'll talk about the orientation of the wrist at contact. What you need to focus on doing is actually getting your toss to be more to the left. Now the reason why having the toss to the left is so powerful for you, my friend, is because the wrist is now going to be in a radially deviated position. And what this does is now, if you internally rotate your shoulder muscle with the racket up as yours is right now, look what happens to the racket. It almost doesn't move at all. But now, if I radially deviate my arm, which is exactly like how Fetter does it, oh, what happened there? So now you'll see that power significant powers coming from that shoulder muscle at contact, thereby transforming your serve, transforming the power, uh, giving you that effortless experience. The last element we'll talk about is the orientation of the trunk. So there's two dimensions with which you want to modify your toss. Dimension number one is the, um, the lateral component on the court. In other words, you want to toss more to the left. The way you achieve that, so you're going to toss at a slightly higher point doing everything the same, that's going to change the angle to be more to the left. The second dimension is going to be the linear component. The way you get the toss more linearly is you increase the, um, the abduction of the arm. In other words, you want that arm abducting inside the court as you go up into contact. So the step-by-step -step drills to do that, I just told you with the anatomy of exactly how to toss. You can also record yourself from a back angle to validate your toss position. Do what's called the exaggeration method. In other words, to start feeling it, you can toss even more to the left than necessary and feel that wrist in that radially deviated position at contact, tossing to the left and then getting that effortless pop. The way you want to correct the forward momentum inside the court, one last show I'm going to leave you with, is you can focus on keeping your legs planted and focus on instead of jumping up and rotating into the serve, you can focus more on leaning forward and then spiking the ball down and you'll feel so much effortless power. All right, my friend, we've covered a lot. By the end of this video now, you know exactly what you need to improve. You know exactly to improve your lateral tilt, your rotation, the orientation of your arm at the leg drive. You've learned how to create a deeper pro drop. And lastly, you've learned how to maximize the biggest muscles of your body to perfect that contact and therefore that follow through. One last piece, your perfect optimal right leg kick, that's gonna happen as an automatic consequence of improving that forward momentum going inside the court. I'm so confident that if you go out on the court and you stay persistent and you believe in your ability to hit a world-class serve, it's gonna happen for you. These are the drills that I would have used for myself to transform and grow at the fastest possible rate. And I know from all the students that I've worked with in person and online, these are the keys for you to transform.